Hello, my friends. I'm doing two Grace Vanderwall reactions today. One of them might be a bit lighthearted, this one here, and one of them might not be so lighthearted. It's going to be one that Grace put up two days ago called Fucked Up Years. She put it up on SoundCloud under her gnome de plume, uh, Bobby Alphabet, which I find very humorous. It reminds me of some of my own daughter's gamer tags. Anyway, um, I'll do that one next after this one. This one is Pity Party. It's another one, yet another one that slipped through the cracks for me. I've never seen this. It's a cover of Melanie, Martina, Melanie Martinez's song, Pity Party. And of course, it's Grace Vanderwall with her ukulele. Uh, both of these songs were clued to me by Vesela Kirkova, a subscriber of mine on YouTube and on Patreon. Thank you very much, Vesela. I sure appreciate it. So what do you say we just jump in and listen to the wonderful, sensitive, enormously creative, 12 and a half year old. I think this Vesla said this was August 15, 2016. So what, in the last month of the AGT experience, she stops and drops this cover, I think. Okay, so let me back this up. I've, I haven't seen any of it. So uh, here we go. I love how contemplative she gets. Did my invitation says her up here. Right up in my heart on every curse if left. Tell me why the hell no one is here. Tell me what to do to make it all feel better. Baby, it's a good joke on me. Whatever, whatever. Just means there's way more cake for me. Forever, forever It's a party and I'm crying I want to cry Cry, I I'm going to the candles burn down in space I'm going to my pity parties and flame I just got to stop real quick and just say her voice. Oh my God, she goes so many places with it. She's got that deep rasp. She's got that horn that she does. She's got the soaring vocals that she occasionally throws in there and just that that sort of slight tinge of whisper that she has always had. So much expression, expression, so much emotion. Gosh, just it blows me away to go back and do these retros. Here we go. And the expression on her face. Maybe if I knew I love them well I wouldn't have been trapped inside this hill that holds me Maybe if I cast it out a spell I told them decorations for a pastel ribbon Maybe it's a good joke on me Whatever, whatever Just me there's way more cake for me Forever Forever. She's got more personality than a than a giant cage full of chimpanzees, doesn't she? Oh my gosh, she is so much fun to watch. It's a my party and I'll cry if I want to cry if I want to cry cry. I'll go into the candles and down this place. I'll go into my pity parties and flame. It's my party, it's my party, it's my party. It's my party.
has got more explosion, more personality explosion than I think virtually anybody I've ever come across in my life, including some of the famous actresses of all time. I mean, oh my God, she reminds me of some type, like Catherine Hepburn in Philadelphia's story, the way she would explode in that, that kind of personality. Oh man, just amazing. And what she does with her voice and so much emotion she puts into it and that, and you can, that vibrato, she, she, sometimes I'm surprised by how much vibrato she really did have when she was younger. Hey, oh goodness. She just puts a smile on my face, even though it's a pity party on this. She just had so much fun with it. And it, in the original song is the cry if I want to in there. That's from a famous, famous song back in the 60s or late 50s. I'll cry if I want to, cry if I want to. Did she just inter, interpolate that or was that actually in Melanie's song? I've never heard Melanie's song, so I can't compare the two. But this was just so mesmerizing. She is mesmerizing as a performer. And I have to say also, how does she remember the words? Still, at my age, I have a hard time remembering words. I hear a song and I mean, I have to sing it 20 times before I can remember all the words. She just, she seems to have that musician's ability to put words to memory super fast. I'm just amazed by that. And I don't think she was reading them. She's a delight to watch. And, and she was good on the uke, right? I mean, that was powerful. I loved how she stopped it there. Poof, and just had a little bit of fun with that. Uh, what a joy. What a freaking joy. August 2016. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Superstar in the making. All right, y'all let me know what you think. I'll catch you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye now. <laughs>